Okay, so today is May 2nd, 2019. We're in Northwest Philadelphia. I just happened to walk past and I seen our comrade Demka out here. And we started talking about the occupying PHA and she was giving me some facts. So I asked if I could record her and she said yes. Yeah. And do we have your permission to air your image on multiple media outlets? Absolutely, you have my permission to do so. Okay. And I'm just going to come closely because I don't have a mic. Oh, sure. No problem. Okay. Um, all right. So a lot of things that are going on in Philadelphia. One of the things that people need to be aware of is that the farm bill that everyone keeps talking about with hemp, there are particular clauses in there that are of interest of people who own or have access to land. Right now, there is a $15,000, $20,000, $30,000, $50,000 tax incentive for developers or individuals that have land here in Philadelphia to own the land and put something that is urban agriculture on the land to ensure that they get these tax incentives as long as the property is in their name. Now, the bill itself is still sitting in the state and it's being reconciled and detailed and you know money and what have you is being shifted to different budgets so nothing as of yet has come into Philadelphia as far as the urban agriculture bill but these incentives these tax incentives are tied to the farm bill itself and Philadelphia is in a very good position to benefit from these tax incentives because we, we have a lot of redevelopment here going on. It is imperative that individuals who are um, advocating for land access, advocating for um, tenants' rights, understand that there are other issues that kind of bring us all together and that we need to stand in solidarity of this um, to ensure that Philadelphia is funded and equal and transparent as far as a lot of current legislation coming on. Different mentality, mentality today. It seems hard. It seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. So, so I'm ready. I'm ready for this challenge. And I was built. I was built for this. I think that I think we all we all have a purpose in life. And mine and mine's going to take on a task that most that most of back away from that impossible, impossible. Say people say it's impossible, impossible. I see possibilities.